Hi, he's Bob. I'm Bob. And he's Tom. And I'm Tom. <laughs> to conquer and win, we're gonna be in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, Q95 with Luciano Gaspacho in praise of the Indianapolis Colts. In a great praise. Phenomenal. Here's Amazing. to a big Super Bowl win this next and, year. Uh, we hope that you get to sing the national anthem at the Indy 500 next year, Luciano. Big star like me, how are they going to refuse? Crowds and 66 degrees. Bob, interesting news item here. What is it, Tom? San Francisco's gay Jewish congregation, Shah Arzahov, has dedicated its new synagogue. This is true with two members engaging in the ceremonial blowing of the ram's horn. <laughs> oh, Bruce! Bruce! Where is that damn ram? <laughs> blowing the ram, I guess. Uh, I guess. Only in so San Francisco. Something new and exciting. Bob, a lot of celebrities were in town for mm -hmm. the Indianapolis 500, which of course took place yesterday, including a guy from the National Association of Broadcasters who has honored us by stopping by our show this morning. Of course, I'm talking about Mr. Ralph Bonarama. Hey, guys. I just want to let you know that uh, I really respect what you're doing. Here. <laughs> I think it's a shame that more kids can't go watch your show. I oh, it's on radio. Well, never mind, man. You may wonder about the uh, Hoosier Dome, they call it. Now, when the Colts moved here, they were considering changing their names to the Trojans. Then we were going to rename this place the Con Dome. This guy walks into a psychiatrist. Yeah. He says, I, I feel like I'm a dog. Really? Yeah. yeah. The psychiatrist says, how long have you felt this way? He says, ever since I was a puppy. <laughs> Go by. Right, it's, it's a helium money, so we should do this properly. Okay. You ready to sing along with it? Mm hmm <laughs> Oh, that feels good. Here we go. It's Helium Monday. That's right. The high point of your week's arrive. It's Helium Monday with Bob and Tom. That's us, Bob and Tom. The program this morning is brought to you by a new product. Boys, in today's world, don't just reach for the soap. Bend over for the soap with new Life Boy George. <laughs> Life Boy George, the new sweet scented soap, comes in several gay decorator colors. I can imagine. Life Boy George from Palm Olive, <laughs> the company with the men with hairy green palms. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm the jerk of the age. You remember uh, mm -hmm. doc, Dr. Uh, Dick Raskin? Of course. Dr. Dick Raskin, later to become Renee Richards, mm -hmm. had a sex change operation. We, of course, all know how he did that and why he chose the name Renee. Why did he choose Renee? Renee means no dick in French. <laughs> 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 uh, did I tell that? No, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> and girls, there's more. This handy marital aid has a built-in cordless telephone. Really? That's right. It will ring while you sing. <laughs> it's the new Genie Dictaphone. <laughs> It'll give you hours of pleasure. And remember, if you rub it, you get long distance. <laughs> to go to the phones for good sex, bad sex. I'll take any sex I can get. But I think before we do that, I should say one thing, Bob. What's that, Doctor? Kind of an interesting note in the news. As you know, I'm a good friend with former Miss America Vanessa <laughs> Williams. That's right. I just spoke to her on the phone. She had to cut off her goodwill tour of the uh, South Sea Islands. I didn't know that. Yes, apparently she missed her native tongue. <laughs> In any event, uh, <laughs> enough of that. Let's, let's go to the phones, please. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Dr. Ruth here. Hello. Hello. Hello, Dr. Ruth. Yes. This is uh, Pinky Zizo, and I'm a lesbian. Oh, Pinky? And I'm, yes, mm. Pinky Zizo, mm -hmm. and I'm about to marry my female lover, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering, is there any kind of a license I need? No, well, yes, there is. You will need a liquor license. <laughs> and uh, by golly, is it by there? by God you can listen to in my not. <laughs> you can to K I Z Z F M. Kiz. Kiz. <laughs> Lucky that doesn't start with a J. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one hell of a radio. Stop station. it. Stop it. We'll be coming right back. <laughs> it's new. Wax off. <laughs> Remove old wax and give your car a high gloss shine with wax off. Just jerk off the top and spray a smidgen on your vehicle and apply with vigorous up and down motions. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. Ruth, he kept undressing me with his eyes. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ruth, can I get pregnant when a man undresses me with his eyes? Mm -hmm. Only if he's cockeyed. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little extra menthol there on your cigarette. Yeah, oh, like yeah. Mm, yeah. Haji, put that shaving foam down. Haji, <laughs> would you like to give your street address? Maybe that'll help, <laughs> help some people contact you after seeing this tape. Yeah, Dick. But uh, the type of people that will be contacting you are medical experimenters, okay? Dick. I wonder if they replace his heart with a gallstone, if his body will still work. Just jealous and bitter. You know, the racing is the only one sport where every once in a while you'll see one of your heroes crash and burn. That's, <laughs> you know, you're never going to hear that in baseball. Mm -hmm. no, you're never going to anything like, uh, you know, like, uh, there goes Pete Rose. He's going around third base. He's sliding in the home. No, no, wait a minute. He's spinning out of control. <laughs> My God, he's burst into flames. <laughs> There's parts flying everywhere. You know, they're trying to pry him out of his uniform. Get him out of there, for God's sake. You know. This portion of our show is uh, brought to you by Walenda Brothers Coffee. Good to the last drop. <laughs> new law firm in the news today. Really? Yeah, three famous uh, attorneys have formed a new law firm. Oh, really? Who yeah, are they? Uh, Gary Hart, Ted Kennedy, and uh, Richard Nixon. What's it called? It's called Dick'em, Dunk'em, and Cheat'em. <laughs> I, I wish you wouldn't make fun of Gary Hart anymore. Why? The guy, I mean, he was he was six inches away of becoming president, you know what I mean? <laughs> Keep it in your pants, Jimmy. Get on your knees and pray, and when you get a... Woody! <laughs> what are we talking about Woody Hayes? <laughs> of course. So why do they have one of the main thoroughfares for people and that's say why don't they build a little uh, a tunnel, tunnel or a bridge? Hey, what a great idea. Hill, guy, from you, guy from USAC goes, <laughs> golly, Earl, that might be a pretty good idea. <laughs> we are just balls, the all ball store. It takes a lot of balls to open a store like this. And don't forget, this week only... Get Jan Stevenson's new book, Golf Without Balls, for only $1.50. In honor of the LPGA Mayflower Classic, of course. I have a new soap that I've invented for people going to prison. What's it called? It bounces. <laughs> I love these people. Thank you. <laughs> and we love you. If I'd killed my wife when I'd wanted to, I'd be out of jail by now. <laughs> A sombrero, bambinos, piñatas, right here. I think I'll sit at home and drink beer. Okay, okay. great. Thank well, you thank very you, much. Mm -hmm. Says, that's me. Sometimes I move too much. I'm going dancing tonight on my first date with a girl. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ruth, when I'm dancing, what part of my body should not move? Mm, your bowels. <laughs> hey, you know what happens when Chinese get uh, erections? What? They vote. <laughs> Oh, my mercy. Hey, donuts now. She's got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. To <laughs> Thank you, Keith Jackson. We're shooting at the green, and some guy went over and picked up all the balls and ran. Took off. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Pretty nice. Thing more unbelievable, though. I right know he's hawking them. Get one of dog's balls. <laughs> And yeah, he's doing that, my dog's itching his. <laughs> well, hello. That's because he can. <laughs> I just see women in prison going, I have the cutest cell. <laughs> no overlooks the exercise yet. It's so cute. If I can only do something. Now, Marge, she has a cute corner cell, but she hates everyone. She's a mass murderer. <laughs> she just walks through death row going, zzz, zzz. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it's all electric prison, though. Yes, it is. That certainly is a comfort. I'm... Oh, power surge. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get any good men in here. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not trying to escape, just having a little fun. Marge's... This thing wouldn't bore a hole anyway. <laughs> Marge's nickname is Duracell. I Duracell, <laughs> that's right. Oi! Mm -hmm. <sighs> What great sex. I love doing it Cavoyan style. Cavoyan style? <laughs> yeah, that's when you smoke before, during, and after sex. <laughs> <laughs> the best comedian. Tim Allen is here. He goes, you know, oftentimes, you hear this a lot, yeah, oftentimes the technology they learn here at the race is translated into your family car. Uh-huh. I went, yeah, right. This year, the Chevy's offered the new, the Indy Celebrity, a 900 horsepower celebrity wagon. So I'm like, gosh, George, this thing's really got some pickup, doesn't it? Ah! Ah! 
I got to the kids to school in about six seconds. <laughs> We're having lapping practice next week with all the other girls PTA. She's running the offie. I'm doing the Buick. And Betty's got the Chevy high tech. Ah, ah, ah. I pulled the trailer right out from under the boat, George. This baby's got some guts to it. Love Sears, do you? This mm. craftsman tool department makes my nipples rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> she always figured we should grunt like pigs. Uh -huh. The little primate you are. Don't speak to your mother. You grunt like the pigs you are. <laughs> <laughs> Ever try to take a steak away from your husband? <laughs> Here, honey. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to grab meat from a man mower, just like dogs. I like going through the house rewiring stuff. That's my favorite thing. Got one of those big tool belts. Yeah. Two cordless Makita drills hanging low. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to know how to wear it, otherwise your butt crack shows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, what is that, a pencil holder over there, Bob? I'm going to hike that up. I got some spackle. I'll, uh, I'll figure out that butt crack. Really, I got some dap butt crack filler putty back here. I'll just fill that crack right in there, Bob. I got kids eating food in this kitchen. Get out of here. Go to minor me a dovetail out there or something, Bob. I'm, I just cruise around my house like Bob Vila, you know, with mm -hmm. a bad headache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just looking for stuff. I look at it. I notice Grandma's easy lift chair isn't moving quite as quick as I'd like it to. <laughs> so I pop down the hardware store, pick up a compressor, some hose, some coax cable. I wire that sucker up. I forget Grandma lost some weight in the years I look at it. Got the 140 pounds a little too high, isn't it, Grandma? <laughs> Shot that bitch halfway across the kitchen. In there. <laughs> Doilies following her. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. I'll dial that baby down as soon as I rewire Grandpa's hearing aid. <laughs> I got a preamp on that son of a bitch. <laughs> Comedian yeah. Tim Allen. <laughs> oh, God. Now that's manly. Yeah. Presiding over a symbolic condom roast in his Catholic Church's parking lot in a Waterbury, Connecticut. Roast. Yes. Mm, I love those. The Reverend Joseph Looney protested. Mesquite condom he... roast. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very tasty. <laughs> I'd like that black and please. It makes it look bigger. And they look... <laughs> <laughs> they look so good at a shish kebab, too. A little pepper, a little bell pepper, mm -hmm. condom, <laughs> tomato. Mm. What's the name of this reverend? Reverend Joseph Looney. I'm not kidding. No. Unbelievable. I, I, I'm Casey Kasem. <laughs> I and here's so. American Top 40. Yeah. Is it just my imagination or is my head a just a bit too big for my body? <laughs> <laughs> and here's my wife, Karima Kasem. Show him the Top 40s, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't help but notice, sir, you're wearing extremely tight, um, uh, what are those called? They are called Lycra Spandex Pursuit Pants. Uh -huh. now, is, pursuit? That a, is that a potato in the front there? or a uh, Tom. Tom. to see you? Tom. 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 Sorry. Is it, looks like Jim and the twins were pretty cozy this morning, sir. Yeah. It never hurts to advertise. Yeah, right? I guess it does. Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. He's Thank smuggling you. topsoil for an offshore development project. Well, yeah, I, I always end, well, a White Castle. Really? Yeah. I was... Uh, God, I was so drunk, I thought I was in McDonald's. I ordered a quarter pounder. I got 500 hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say to you? Because I'm thinking, a woman that looks like Diane Parkinson, why Bob Barker? He's... He must be hungry. Rich. Well, he's rich. And well, he's she rich. probably That's... planned on suing him the whole time. Yeah. She's obviously a gold digger. <laughs> Here's a woman who's po posed naked in Playboy. Her vulva spread all over the pages of Playboy. And now she's suing him for sexual harassment? Yeah. <laughs> she was standing next to a Jaguar. <laughs> oh, not, not a Volvo. Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, first of all, I'm a, I've been doing this a long time. i got to do a radio, a radio show every week in my life. And uh, you guys are the best. Oh, well, thanks. For Thank real. You. Here's the 10 bucks. Second of all... <laughs> Now, were you, uh, were you Clinton before Bill Clinton, or did you just change it to honor? All right, so I've always been Clinton Jackson. Mm -hmm. Clinton, I, always, I always go by Clinton Jackson. You know what? I was in, um, 
in uh, Concord, California. I was opening up for uh, Huey Lewis in the news, sure. right? Mm -hmm. And I go backstage, and Clint Black had just been there, right? And I walk back there, <laughs> and on this, there's a sign on the door. I see a sign on the door. It says Clint Black. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, now, <laughs> is you, that you my being a dressing black room man with a name brief Clinton. description? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at Huey's door to see if it said Huey, white. <laughs> no. Didn't say that, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it did not. Or maybe just Hugh White. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh, Hugh White. <laughs> movie goer? Been to uh, any, any of the blockbusters? Or anything, yeah, anything? I saw Twister. That was pretty cool, man. I know I know. I'll need, in this direction, you know, it's more like a hard-hitting documentary. Kind of, but, sure. Oh. You can buy cars at night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll never forget how Wait much you saved at Andy Moore Ford. Help me. Okay, thank you. Pick a number between 1 and 50. We'll ask our guest, then I'll just hit a random sound effect. We'll see if it fits the commercial. All right. 150, Clinton. Pick a number. 35. 35. That's Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 35. Here we go. Heavenly deals. At there you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll think you've died and gone to pick car another. Heaven. Pick another number. <laughs> Clinton. Andy Moore Ford. Uh, 27. 27. Andy Moore Ford. Electrifying Neils at Andy Moore Ford. <laughs> okay, pick another number. Go ahead, Clint. A any number. Eight. Eight? Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, dear. They have body <laughs> shop. <laughs> they have a body shop. A and Andy Moore Ford. Pick Ford. any other number. Go ahead. Pick one more. Nineteen. That's... Ah! That's our manager screaming at the fabulous deals you'll find Where is that? at Andy Moore Ford. This is the Bob and Tom it's show. On, morning. It's Man, I wish I'd lived here today's show. Me too. <laughs> um, you. I wish I was here. Yeah. You know, there's a reason I'd never heard of this band. Why? Because this guy had to have his penis cut off at publicity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I prefer I prefer musicians who can actually make it on their skill, not on their lack of a dick. <laughs> so. I, I knew you'd have I know how to make it in show That's business. That's what I said. <laughs> Yikes. I know how to make it in show business. First we whip it out, and then we take a cleaver. Mm -hmm. How does he okay. pee? Sitting down. <laughs> or all yeah. over the place. Yeah, well, <laughs> that was a video. No, that's not true, Clint. How does he pee? Depends. <laughs> Okay, oh, never mind. Oh. Sorry I asked. Hard copy all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this exclusive. Dogs die in the cargo hold? Occasionally. Occasionally. And then they just replace them with a dog that looks similar. They got a big <laughs> they got a big dog farm for these things. Now all the airlines <laughs> share the same dog Yeah, uh, Dave, uh, Dave, we need a Shih Tzu. Uh, uh, brown face, white feet. Uh, we need a, we need a sh Shih Tzu uh, gate C-27. Uh, it's a number yeah, eight. Yeah. Bring that and, number eight. Uh, another, another Newfie uh, coming, in, uh, coming in on United. Try to take care of that. Yeah, he's you? stiffer in a board. Come on in. Oh, okay. <laughs> the big danger at this time of year is the heat. If you, you know, they were down there and if the plane is delayed on the, you know, tarmac for any reason, it can be a problem. Mm hmm. So, mm. That was just a story this week that came out. Do the People right thing, drive your dog. Jeez. Warning folks that are flying their dogs about that. There you go. I ain't making this up. And if it's a small dog, like a little tiny little hand dog. Yeah, you can put it underneath your seat. No, just throw it out the window because those aren't real dogs. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't real dogs. This is cool. You know, I like doing radio. You know I mean? You go to different places and you guys got a good show, man. Uh, it's, this is nice. Some places, I was working in uh, Houston and they have a radio station there. It's called, honest to goodness, K-I-K-K -K Radio. Mm -hmm. Kick. Country. Well, K -I -K -K. that's too close. <laughs> yeah. uh, no. They stuck that I in there and figured yeah. it would be okay. It's just uncomfortably yeah. close. And, and how odd that it's a country station. Uh, <laughs> and you transpose the one I and the K and you got I K K K. Yeah. And our sister station, I boy. <laughs> change a dinosaur's name. I don't know. Yeah, halfway through. Halfway through. <laughs> Do you know what the smallest dinosaur was? 
Uh, what? The clitoris. <laughs> <For ten. laughs> a little red, <laughs> pinkish. Time. Well, congratulations. Wow. You I finally got it, got it on the air. Yeah. Congratulations. Way to go. <laughs> See, all that, all that filthy lunch talk, and now it's on the air. Are you happy now? Are you a big man saying uh, clitoris? Is that it? <laughs> See, I always thought the, I thought the smallest one was the lick a lot of puss, but apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently Wrong. So is that how that means that how it works? You're supposed to pass them that way. Yeah. Well, I would think using They've laxatives a... and a rectal scope, doctors were able to collect what? evidence over right. a period oh, of four oh, days. Oh, oh. I must have one. <laughs> <laughs> a rectal scope that just freshens your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you get a rectal scope? Isn't that the toy now at McDonald's? <laughs> no. No. Burger, Burger, Burger King has the Jurassic Park stuff, and McDonald's has the no. rectal scope. No, no. they don't. Yeah. Hey, look, Jimmy, it's a rectal scope. Rectal scope is the mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> we should explain to our radio audience, Tony, you are a black man. <laughs> we explain that every year. I know. When will you people learn? <laughs> when? Do you know why I have to explain this, Tony? Yes, I know why I have to explain because, it. Because I don't... You no, know, there are certain jokes that you do, and if people don't know that you're black, they call the station up and they go... How come that white man's making fun of black people? <laughs> it's like every ethnic it's, it's of any good. kind, you've got to go, our guest is Jewish today, so the following jokes are okay for him to do. We yeah. can't do them ourselves. Well, it comes in handy when I want to call in for a bank loan. So that really is... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'd like to make a loan for a building I'm building down in downtown. Well, sure, sir, come on down. I'm going to send my uh, assistant down, if you don't mind. <laughs> and then I show up and they go, oh, well, uh, His name oh, is Tyrone. Tyrone. Yes. Hey, yes, now I'm, I'm here to pick up Tony's uh, loan check, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, that Tony Edwards, he's a fine upstanding citizen. Why doesn't he ever come in? Well, he's a very busy man, you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't come in for everything. <laughs> See, you look like you've recovered. You look well. great. Your color's back to your face. Oh, I was great this morning. So is yours, Tony. Tony, you're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. I've I've got to go. <laughs> Speaking of color, now uh, the the uh, the array of superstar guests we have just uh, rolls on, and uh, for the first time ever in the studio, it's uh, it's a guy. I'll let him introduce himself. It's just tremendous. <laughs> Hey, Bob and Tom Show USA, <laughs> Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Larry King. Wow. Larry, Larry. Larry. Nice to see you. Let me sit down here. Oh, Ouch, well. my back. <laughs> oh, wow. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wow. Uh, well. hey, I just flew in from Los Angeles, you know, the uh, Sinatra funeral. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, you know... You know how it is when stewardesses bring the lunches with the bags of chips and the bag looks like it's about to explode yeah. because of the cabin pressure? Right. Yeah. Same thing happens to my scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> if, really? Anybody on the plane, if you heard nonstop screaming during turbulence coming out of first class, it was me. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, wow! I got some random thoughts for this little soiree here today, of course. And for all your wonderful listeners, we call it People News and Views. But first... I don't know if anyone saw the show last night. We were Kibbutzen, the chairman of the board. On my show, Vic Damone, Shirley Jones, Wayne Newton, Eartha Kitt, and Joey Bishop. Man, folks, Joey's losing it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Joey, it's over. Lie down. You should have stayed at the cemetery and saved us all a drive. <laughs> Man, oh man, an Eartha Kitt. Wow, she's frightening. It was her head, but it was on a fully clothed stick. <laughs> Holy cow. Yet she had a very nice mouth. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. Viagra Falls, hello. Uh -huh. Playing the ponies not your bag, Tom? No. <laughs> Well, at Comfrico, we don't waste time on the traditional and tired international funds. Boring! We do, however, offer our innovative and groundbreaking around-the-world account. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, basically, we own a string of whorehouses in Reno. <laughs> <laughs> we call it our Infidelity Magellan Fund. <laughs> Hey, two Shriners conventions, and you're sitting in gravy. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you know, Bob, Prudential may offer you a piece of the rock, uh -huh. but with us, you own a piece of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? That's where the action is, fellas. Yeah, sure. And we work hard to turn their asses into assets for our valued clients. Uh-huh. 
And finally, everyone's worried about retirement. And most people address this problem through a 401k. Uh Exactly. But with our innovative approach, in our 401, we have K. But in 402, you'll find Clarice, (laughs) 403, Debbie, and 404 is our twin bimbo special. (laughs) Yeah. When they go down, your yields go up. (laughs) Really? So that's Nick and Sonny's Comfrico Financial Services, where we've made more millionaires than Heidi Flies. (laughs) (laughs) And why should you give us your life savings? One reason, because we're the Law Brothers. (laughs) Thank you. Hi, Barry. Oh, you Christy's want to sit not. On my Christy's our new No, mic I stand. wanted to hold you are your mic. Pregnant. Thank you for noticing. Oh, uh, you're getting away. My wife, when the first time she was pregnant, all I saw of her for nine months was her ass hanging out of a refrigerator. <laughs> 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 Ain't you cute? You got your little belly there. My wife's pregnant again. She is. Yeah, yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah, I just uh, went off in my hand. She was standing too close. <laughs> <laughs> We really? Heard that. <laughs> Why can't we just get a grip on our man to hand relationship <laughs> and come to terms with truly how we feel? <laughs> if we put our heads together, we just stay home forever, dear penis. I think I like you after all. Oh, and Rodney, while you're shaving, shave my balls. I feel like I'm in a campfire. Everybody's just really enjoying this. <laughs> thank God, thank God, we have that captured on video. Because oh yeah. If we didn't, it would be it would be horrific. We're going to take a short break, and we're okay. going to come right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Not to mention the fact I'm sitting on the brink of superstardom, and if you believe that. I can't say that. <laughs> so, yeah. What did he jump off of? A uh, high-rise apartment building. Oh. He had a spot. I guess now it's a flat. <laughs> well, he had a spot <laughs> picked on the sidewalk that he wanted to hit, but he was just a little outside. <laughs> just a little bit outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have some sad news. This Uh-oh. Oh. Bishop Emeritus Frederick W. Freaking, who headed the Roman Catholic Freaking. Diocese. What's his name? <laughs> Let me see that. Freaking Who Freaking. headed the Roman Catholic Diocese <laughs> of La Crosse, Wisconsin from 1965 to 1983. Died Saturday from complications from emphysema. He was 85. Did they have to pull the freaking plug? <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> we have to take a break. But first, we'll answer the phone. Morning, Bob and Tom. Show. Hey, this is the Bob and Thomas show. Yeah. Hey, hey boys, this is the Paul. It's the Paul. <laughs> hey, you're, Hi, you're you, a you, bond of this. You're holding this. Freaking Paul. Hey, uh, how are you? Listen, listen, I'm sorry. I, I, I guess you lost one of your bishops. So. Bishop Fred. You going to the funeral? I gotta go to the freaking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ukrainian what? newspaper. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let May you try I? it. I'll, I'll let you try it. It's F A K T Y. Be very careful. Facti. 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 For our listeners for our listeners in Boston, we apologize. <laughs> Why would we do that? This guy patented bubble gum. Oh, yeah? And he helped create synthetic synthetic rubber during World War II. This guy's a genius. What's his name? He was 100 years old when he died Wednesday. Wow. What's his name? Waldo Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. I've been, and I've been chewing that stuff. And Pud was bad? Do you suppose, do you suppose people... <laughs> Do you suppose people walk into the funeral home and they go, uh, well, where's, where's Waldo? <laughs> Ricky, you're a perfect little nookie cookie, honey. Oh, oh. You're a fruit roll up all the way. Oh. You know, Senior Marge, maybe you have a point. Perhaps I am uh, a gay man. Yes. Hey, uh, Ricky, did you hear the one about the homo who had to have his tooth pulled, honey? Uh, no, I have not. The dentist came at him with a hypodermic and said, you're going to feel a little prick in your mouth at first. <laughs> and the flamer smiled and said, thanks, that ought to help ease my nerves. <laughs> One more time. My whipper, whipper, whipper blade. My whipper, whipper, whipper blade. One time on delay. Here we go. My whipper. Whipper. <laughs> wiper blades. I always said I'd replace my wiper blade. <laughs> on delay. On delay. I, uh, I've done that. On before. delay. Uh, very they, nice. They wipe and they wait. <laughs> wipe and they wait. Mm-hmm.
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Haywood Banks, uh, very good, Haywood. Always a pleasure. We're going to take a short break, come back with another guitarist, Rodney Carrington, when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Shocking, isn't it? <laughs> it is shocking. Oh, my God. You know, I think we could do that chorus better, Frank. Oh, I don't think we need to. Uh, and, uh, I don't know about you, but when I got a testicle loose, I know it. I know it. Yeah. I feel it. I feel the wind. I push it in. So did he. The other one rolled out the other side. That will scar you for the rest of your life. You don't even hug your daddy the same after no, that. No, no, you don't. I saw your back. Thanks, Billy. We're going to take a short break. We're going to come right back. We've got comedian Rodney Carrington. I believe a couple of our special guests as well. When we return, this is the Bob and Tom Show.